welcome to your resistance band workout. Please note that there are different resistance band strengths. So please modify uh, as you go along. If you need, can also be done without. You're still gonna get that nice burn. All right, whilst we move through the flow, please be mindful of your breath and your alignment is obviously key, keeping your integrity of the Pilates principles. All right, the resistance band is a fantastic way to exercise in a small space, whether you're traveling or just enjoy working out at home. All right, here we go. So you're gonna take this resistance band and just place it over your knees, making sure that the band is just over the ligament there and we're gonna to come to a seated position. So come all the way down, feet hip distance apart. All right, and you're gonna slowly roll down through your spine and coming into that lovely neutral spine and really find the length in your arms. From here, we're gonna bridge straight up, different to a spine curl. You're gonna keep your spine in neutral. All right, so you're gonna exhale, press into your feet, keep the resistance on the band and coming all the way down. And exhale. Really focusing both sides of the hips coming up in one line, keeping your neutral spine, natural curves of your back. Be careful you do not go onto your neck as you move. Exhale, so you're just stopping at the shoulders. Be careful you don't start to roll over onto the sides of your feet, keep your feet nice and planted. And down, exhale, focus the breath. Give me three more. And exhale. And down, last time. You're gonna hold it all the way up. Hold it there, and you're gonna make little butterfly knees. So you're gonna open the knees slightly, and then come back to that first position. And we go, breathe out as you open. And in. we go for three. Keeping your rib to hip connection here. So be careful we don't arch. We wanna think, keep it all contained for five. Keep your feet planted. Six, switching on your glutes for seven. And we go eight. Two more, nine. Last one, 10. And come down all the way straight down. From here, we're gonna go into ab prep, keeping those knees hip distance apart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna curl your upper body off, lifting your arms, just hovering off the mat and exhale, release. Take an inhale. As you exhale, think head comes up, arms lift, take an inhale. Exhale, coming all the way down. Carry on, exhale. Take an inhale, pause. And exhale, coming all the way down. Give me three more. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come down. Two more, inhale. As you exhale. And come down. Last time, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna hold it there. We're gonna go in for the Pilates hundreds. Breathing in through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. And pulse. And exhale. All right, from here, if you have neck issues, I welcome you to bring one hand just behind your head and exhale, do a few reps like that, and then change for me, exhale. Otherwise, we're gonna hold it here and exhale. For the last five, if you can, you're going to lift one foot up and then the other, keep the legs apart, flex the feet, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale, keep the body nice and still. Two more sets. And exhale. Last. And exhale, two. Hold it there, take an inhale. As you exhale, bring one leg down at a time and relax your upper body. You're now gonna bring your heels together, toes apart, pressing the band outward in that lateral rotation. Keeping the feet planted, we're gonna bridge up and down in this position. So you're gonna work the different part of your glute this time. And coming down, straight down. Relax your back between each rep. We go lift up, think of wrapping your thighs, keep the ribs relaxed, and down we come. 
and keeping that rib to hip connection and down exhale and down we come we go exhale and down give me two more last time come all the way up butterfly knees again with your hands with your hands with your knees pulsing hands come just at your side and pulse we go for five four three two and one take an inhale as you exhale come straight down and bring it all the way in from here you're going to bring your band all the way towards your feet and bring your hands behind your head we're going to go in for our obliques and dead bug so first of all we're going to lift our upper body up and lengthen our arms at our side we're going to go opposite arm and leg come back to center change and center if this is too much you're going to have your hands behind your head exhale this is creating a really good resistance for your hip flexors so if you are a runner this is a fantastic one for you and press otherwise keep your arms going opposite shoulders drawing down towards hip four more and three four two and one come in just relax your legs down don't let the band go anywhere from here come all the way up again we're going to go for obliques this time going towards right and left here we go for 10 keep the resistance for nine for eight seven keep those abs tight six careful not to pull on your neck five four three or two last one and relax it all the way in bring that band over the ankles this time and just relax it down from here we're going to lie onto our side for a knee lift all right so you're going to bring your feet all the way in line with the front of your mat knees are also in front in the line with the front of your mat and you're going to come all the way down if you do need a cushion to place underneath your head to support yourself go for it all right you want to be at neutral spine and we're going for knee lift so you're going to exhale coming into that hip abduction and bring it all the way down and we go lift up and relax it all the way down and keeping that lovely stability in your pelvis in your rib cage good working that underneath side we go lift and down exhale good keep focusing on the breath it's going to help you support your muscles throughout the workout good give me four more and down we go for three and two last time hold it up there we're going to start to stretch the leg on down towards your mat and bring it in and we go and bring it in really use that exhale think of lengthening your top hip and exhale and bring it in we go for five and keep it stable for four you're going to feel that burn start to happen in the top of your hip for three and into the glute and two hold your last one straight for me and side leg lift you're going to tap it down towards your mat and lift it up for two we go for three and lift for four for five so my band is really tight it's a strong band so this is my range if you feel you can go a little bit more go for it and without giving in on that underneath side two more 
last time and come all the way down. Really nice. You're going to come up all the way into a kneeling position, keeping your right foot in your band. And you're going to come up into that kneeling position. There we go. All right, from here, you're going to pull your band towards you and you're going to go in for some rotation. So go exhale, rotate, and come to center. And we go. And center. And we go. Really focus the body moving around the axis, not just your arms doing the work. And we go. Four. Keep it breathing out as you twist. Give me two more. Last time. And from here, keep control with your left hand. You're going to come up into a lunge. And we're going to go in for a bent over row, one arm, pull and lengthen. We go for two and lengthen. For three, keep your abs lifting away from your front thigh. For four, careful we don't start to drop the neck. We go five and six and seven and eight four nine last one ten come all the way down for me and take it off your foot from here you're going to hook your hands in for me and we're going to go in for push-ups this is going to feel really different because your arms are trying to resist that band from pulling your arms in so it's nice and supportive I'm going to go for a push-up prep. You are more than welcome to go on to your feet and lift your knees for a full push-up. From here, we're going to inhale down, exhale up. So you'll feel how you really have to fight to keep your shoulder stability. Here we go. Three. And four. You want your elbows to go slightly back on the diagonal. Five. And six. Four. Seven. And eight, two more for nine. Last time, 10. And come all the way down. Walk yourself forward, lying onto your stomach. Lengthen your arms. And we're going to go for prone back extension, lifting the legs as well for this one. Be careful of your shoulders. Draw your shoulders down into your sockets once again. Take an inhale as you exhale. You're going to hover everything and down we go and lengthen lift so i keep my head just slightly above my shoulders it allows me to then keep my neck relaxed and make underneath my armpits work a little bit harder keep pressing out on your band exhale abs are nice and tight be careful if you are prone to arching your back keep the range a little bit smaller and exhale and down give me three more and down exhale for two and down last time for one and come all the way down press back into a shell stretch and just relax your lower back good and coming up through your spine Good, we're gonna go on to the other side now. So making sure that your band is over your ankles. So from here, keeping it nice and secure. All right, just to reset, you got your feet and knees in line with the front of your mat. All right, from here, you want to just create that underneath space. Doesn't have to have a gap, it's just an activation. All right, from here, you're gonna take an inhale as you exhale knee lift and come down maintaining that neutral spine thinking keeping hips knees and ankles in one line all right here we go exhale and down just notice how your different sides feel completely different maybe or just a slight difference or maybe not at all all right here we go exhale and exhale lift 
Keep the tension on that band. Exhale. Keep the lower back stable by lifting up pelvic floor. Give me two more. Last time, lift it up here. And we're going in for our bend and stretch. So lengthen down your mat and bring it in. Trying to keep it at hip height as you come in. Careful we don't let that knee drop. Three, activating glute medius. Four, we go five. Keep this top hip stable, six. We go seven. Top shoulder, easy, eight. Two more, we go nine. And 10, side leg lift. We're gonna bring it down towards your mat and then lift it up. So once again, I'm just gonna remind you that my band is very strong, so my range is gonna be smaller. So if you wanna lift it up a little bit higher, please go for it except do not let your underneath side dip. So we wanna keep the stable lifting. Breathe out as you lift. Give me five more. And exhale, four, four, three, four, two. And last one, one, coming all the way down and relaxing, good. And you're gonna put the band underneath your foot and we're gonna go for that rotation, keeping the body nice and strong and in neutral. Exhale as you twist and center. And lengthen, keep those shoulders nice and stable. We go, exhale, rotate. And keep breathing. Two more. And last time. And from here, just taking into the right hand, we're going in for our lunge with bent over row. Here we go, 10. Exhale. Four, eight. And seven. Keep those hips pressing down. Six. And five. For four, three, two, last time, one, come all the way down and recover. Good, we're gonna come to a standing position this time and we're gonna take our band over our ankles. There we go. All right, so I like you to keep your back upright, some other trainers or things might tell you to lean forward. That is not incorrect, but for today, I want you to stay upright. All right, we're gonna do tiny lateral walks from right to left, working a different part of the glute. All right, softening the knees, lateral walks. We go side to side, keeping your body in neutral. Good, softening the knees. So there should be no feeling in your lower back that should feel supported. You're feeling the glutes working. Press, and we go side, and side. And keep it calm in the breath, easy ribs. Give me one more each side. Keep neutral spine, last time. And bring it all the way in and stand up for me. From here, we're gonna go back down onto our mat. This time, keeping the band where it is, at your ankles, and coming down. We're gonna go in for our star. Okay, so just make sure it's nicely secure. Coming down, and hands behind your head. Lift one leg up, other leg up. So it will stay slightly apart. Lie down for me. All right, you're gonna lift up, open, close, bring it down, exhale and down, maintaining neutral or imprinted spine. Be careful your legs don't go too low. And we go. In and. Keep it nice and secure. You can slow it down. We go four. And three. Four two, last one, and bring it all the way in. 
bring one foot into your band this time, and you're gonna hold your strap coming into a hamstring stretch. All right, if you need to, bending that knee, you're gonna hold it there. From here, you can bend that leg and stretch a few times. And holding it up, press. From here, just hold your hand out to the side, opening up, keeping this hip secure, and bring it across. Really keep your right hip nice and still. And bring it in. Changing sides for me. Make sure that you bend the knee in first before changing, protect your back. So either you're gonna hold it here or you're gonna lengthen your underneath leg. Calm shoulders, keep that neutral spine. Only once you've achieved that can you start to pull the leg closer towards you. Otherwise, you're gonna keep your knee bent. And from here, take the band in your left hand, open it up to the side, keeping nice and stable. And bring it across. and bring it all the way in. Coming up and rolling up through your spine. Inhale as you exhale, come to a seated position and your workout is complete. Thank you so much for joining this Rituals Resistance Band workout and I hope you feel energized and have a lovely day further.